everyone welcome to the channel so in this video i'm going to show you how to create a band composite with lancet a data in rgis pro so now let's let's get started so now let me explain about what is a band composite so band composite is the technique used in remote sensing to combine multiple bands or spectral bands of an image into a single composite image this process is often employed in satellite or aerial imagery analysis to enhance the visualization of the specific feature or the information present in different spectral bands. So creating a band composite involves selecting and combining bands to generate a new image that highlights certain characteristics. So for example, the true color composite, so the red band, the combination of red band, green band and blue band gives us a true color composite. And similarly, the false color composite, the combination of infrared, red band and green band gives us a false color composite. Now let me show you the official website where you can download your Lancet 8 data. So open your browser. So in the search section enter as USGS Earth Explorer. So now enter search. So click the first result called USGS Earth Explorer. So now this is the official website where you can download your uh, Lancet 8 data. And the link will be given in the description to how to download a Lancet A data from the USGS Earth Explorer. So the link will be available in the description. So now let me get back to our RGIS Pro. So once you have downloaded your Lancet A data, so now let me show you that. So the data will be in zip file format. So it will be uh, in zip file format. So to, uh, to extract the data, you have to right click on this uh, zip file of Lancet A data. So uh, Click this option called extract here. So it is extracting our Lancet A data from our zip file. So once you have extracted your Lancet A data from your zip file format, now let me explain about this data. So the Lancet A data has uh, 11 bands starting from the band 1 to band 9. So band 1 here represents of a coastal aerosol band and with a 30 meter resolution and band 2 is blue and with a 30 meter resolution and similarly band 3, band 4 represent green and red. So here we have our uh, band 8 of panchromatic band of 15 meter resolution and band 6 and 7 here represents the shortwave infrared band and the band 5 here rep represents our near infrared band of 30 meter resolution. And band 10 and 11 here represents uh, the thermal infrared band. The two spectral bands, the band 10 and band 11 here represents the thermal infrared band of 100 meter resolution. Now let me explain about the combination of these bands. So using Lancet A data, you, had, you can achieve a variety of band combinations. So for example, using band 3, band 4, band 3 and band 2. So you have, uh, you can attain a natural color composite. And similarly, the color infrared can be achieved using band 5, band 4 and band 3. And using short wave infrared, so the, using the band 7, 6 and 4, you can achieve this particular color composite. That is short wave infrared. And to uh, a band combination of 6, 5 and band 2, so you can achieve this particular composite that is agriculture. So it is commonly used for crop monitoring and the healthy vegetation appears in a dark green. And using band seven, band six and band two. So this particular uh, combination that is geology band combination uses the short wave infrared two and short wave infrared one band and the blue band. So this band uh, as a combination is particularly useful for identifying the geological formation and lithology features and faults. And this particular combination you can achieve the bathymetric. So using band 4, band 3 and band 2. So it uses uh, red, green and coastal bands to uh, peak into water. So this coastal band is useful in coastal bathymetry aerosol studies because it reflects the uh, blues, and, blues and violets. This band combination is good for estimating the suspended sediments in water. 
and the link will be given in the description to uh, visualize the different band combination in using our Landsat 8 data. So now let me get back to our ArcGIS Pro. And now let us add our Landsat 8 data into our ArcGIS Pro. So for that, go to this option called View. So in that, we're going to click this option called Catalog Pan. So once you did that, a window pops up saying Catalog Pan here. So here, we're going to add, a, we're going to right click in our project section here. We're going to right click and we're going to add a folder connection. So now we're going to navigate to our uh, Lancer Day data where uh, we have downloaded it, saved it. So I'm going to navigate to my folder location here. And now I have navigated to my folder location here. So I have clicked that folder and click OK. So once you did that, so click this option here, click this folder here. So in that you can able to visualize a folder called Lancer 8 data. That is Lancer 8. So now let me open this. So here you can able to visualize our Landsat 8 data. So we have extracted our Landsat data from our zip, uh, zip, zip file. So here you can able to visualize the different bands, band 1, 2, uh, we have band 11. So there is a total of 11 bands uh, in Landsat 8 data. And now we're going to select the band 1 to band 11. So we're going to select all the bands and going to add into our RGIs to our current map view. So now let me select my bands here. I'm gonna select all these bands, starting from band one to band eleven, and right click. So click this option called Add to the Current Map. So it is performing the statistics here, and now it is about adding our data. So now we can be able to visualize here. This is the Lancet type data starting from band 1 to band 11. And now we have added around bands 1 to band 11 here from our Lancet A data. So now let me get back to our. Uh, so this particular section here. So we have a total of around 11 bands. So band 1 is of 30 meter. So 2 is 30 and uh, 3 is of 30, 4 is 30. So uh, we're going to add our 30 meter resolution bands together. That is, we're going to band composite all the 30 meter resolutions together. So you can able to visualize here the band 8 is of uh, panchromatic band of 15 meter resolution. And similarly, the band uh, 10 and 11 of was 100 meter resolution. That is of thermal infrared band. So now let us check this out. So the band 11 is of 100 meter resolution. So here you can able to visualize we have band 11 and band 10 of 100 meter resolution. So it is a thermal infrared band and band 8 is of panchromatic band of 15 meter resolution. So now we're going to remove this band. So we're going to use band 1 to band 7. So it is of 30 meter resolution. So band starting from band 1 to band 7. So now let me show you that. So here you can able to visualize here. So you can able to visualize starting from band 1 to band 7. It is of 30 meter resolution. So we're going to use all those bands to band composite our Landsat 8 data. And uh, let me get back to our Pro, RGIS Pro. So here I'm going to remove this uh, bands starting from band 11, 10, 9 uh, and uh, 8. So now we're going to select this band. So right click uh, and click this option called remove. So once you did that, so now we have a uh, band 1, 2, band 7. And now we're going to select all these bands together. We're going to select all the bands. So let me select this particular band. So now let me select these bands. So hold your control key in your keyboard and you can select all these bands together. So once you did that, we're going to navigate to this option called imagery. So in that, there is an option called process. So we're going to click this option here. So in that we can uh, able to visualize there is an option called composite. So it combines multiple data set into one multi-band raster. So before you uh, click this uh, option called composite, you have to make sure that you select all your bands. So like this. So now let me click this composite. And now here you, here, you can able to visualize. So it is pretty faster compared to our traditional RGIS desktop. So it is uh, compiled over all of the bands together within a seconds. So the band composite is completed here. And now to change your band composite, so you can go to this option here, the composite one. So right click. So in that we're going to select an option called symbology. 
so here you can select your bands so the red color currently the red is selected for band 1 and green is selected for band 2 and the blue is selected for band 3 so you can change the composite according to your choice so now to uh, create a natural color composite so we have to select this particular set of bands so for red we're going to select band 4 and for the green we're going to select uh, band 3 and for the blue we're going to select the band 2 so now we have selected band 4 3 and 2 so it is a natural color composite now let me show you that so here you can able to visualize here the natural color composite uses the band combination of 4 3 and 2 it replicates to close to whatever human eyes can see so where the healthy vegetation is uh, green an unhealthy unhealthy uh, flora is in brown and urban features appears in white and gray and water is in and dark blue or black so now let me get back to our pro now here you can able to take a look of this uh, image here so it is a natural color composite so vegetation is highlighted in uh, green color so you can able to clearly able to view that and now let us create a false color composite so for that we're gonna set a series of uh, band combination here so that is we're gonna select band 5 and followed by we're gonna select band 4 and now we're gonna select band 3 so this is a false color composite so now let me get back to this so here you can able to visualize here the band 5 4 and 3 so the combination of band 5 4 3 here's a color infrared so the band combination is also used called as a near infrared composite it uses near infrared that is band 5 4 and 3 because the color the chlorophyll reflects the near infrared light this band composition is useful for analyzing vegetation in particular the area in red have a better vegetation health so the darker areas water and urban areas are in white so here well, let me zoom to this particular area here so all the vegetation features are highlighted in uh, red color so now you can able to visualize it so all the vegetation areas are highlighted in red color and the water bodies are here or given uh, you can visualize in in blue color in dark blue color so now uh, you can explore the different bond band combination uh, using our Lancet 8 data. So here you can able to visualize. So the link will be given in the description to access this particular uh, website here. You can try the different band combinations uh, here. So in this video I have shown you how to create a band composite using uh, Lancet 8 data and RGIS Pro. So thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.